Hello and welcome to our spring sew along uh, to make our Sudoku quilt. Um, it's a quite a straightforward quilt to make and um, with a slight twist of a brain teaser if you like doing Sudoku puzzles. Um, in the pattern we have the puzzle there ready for you to complete or you can just hop straight to the back page and find the completed puzzle and this becomes your plan for um, making each nine pack block. So you're going to need nine fat quarters to make the quilt um, and as the um, with the Sudoku puzzle there'll be one of each fabric in each block it won't be repeated in a um, vertical column and it won't be repeated in horizontal row um, so it's quite um, quite a bit of fun and um, you need to give your nine fat quarters each a number and then you'll just use that number to complete the blocks using the plan now in our quilt we've used the heart strings stitchery panel just um, to include the little stitcheries um, in one of the squares so I've used one of the fabric to border it and um, so this one becomes my ninth um, fabric um, and with the panel you get 30 designs so you just need to choose your favourite nine um, a bit of iron on stabiliser on the back and stitch them as you normally would with embroidery I've used a, two strands of embroidery thread um, and you need then to trim them down and border them um, and I'll show you how to do that in the next little video clip. If you don't want to use a stitchery panel, you can just use your nine fat quarters. So you'll put them together just um, in, a, in a straightforward nine patch um, block. You need to label the blocks um, for their position in the quilt as well so they don't get um, mixed up. Um, this is the Heartstrings range by um, Natalie Bird of the Birdhouse Patchwork Designs, which is gorgeous. It's very um, spring-like um, and just lovely colours. Um, so it works well um, in this quilt. Um, we've got a plain sashing um, and then I've used a contrasting fabric to make the um, cornerstone stars just for a bit more interest. Um, we have got a little magic border. And that's all detailed in the video of how you're going to do it. So the first job to do is to cut your uh, nine fat quarters into four and a half inch squares. You need nine of each colour. Um, and as I say, if you're going to use the stitcheries, um, you just need to cut some one and a half inch strips of the fabric you want to border your stitcheries with. So once they're all cut, we'll go over to the sewing machine and sew them together. We're going to stitch the um, embroidery squares now. Um, so the stitcheries are done um, and I've cut them. They're all cut three inches tall and two and three quarter inch wide. Um, and that's getting the um, embroidery in the middle. Um, and then um, I've cut a one and a half inch strip of the pink button vertical fabric. And I've done it so that the buttons run down um, the strip and then you cross cut those into four four inch strips um, now we're going to um, sew this um, with a partial seam um, and that's the way we get the nice all the sort of strips going around in, right in the uh, same direction so the first strip will go on right sides together we'll go on the bottom of your embroidery block, uh, raw edges um, level and then we're going to stitch a quarter inch seam about an inch and a half so from the edge there down you're going to stop mid section here So that leaves um, the partial seam there. Uh, we just need to keep this bit out of the way. So the next strip I'm going to add just need to press. 
press that just the little bit you've sewn just give it a little press so the next strip i'm going to add is along this edge so right sides together and this time i'm going to sew all the way along quarter inch seam strip can be fully pressed away from the embroidery and then the next strip we add will be along the top so again you're going to match up the raw edges straight across the top of the stitchery quarter inch seam you may have to trim a little bit of the strip off Again, press that up. And then again, add your last block on, keeping the partial seam out of the way. aware that you will have excess on the um, the top of the the block because the width is shorter than the height so just snip that off so once all three um, the two sides and the top are done you can then go and finish off your partial seam so you're going to refold that back and then start stitching where you ended. And then you can finish off pressing that final seam in. There you go. Now this needs to be trimmed now to four and a half inch square and it's literally taking just a little bit off. Um, I've just allowed um, more so that then you can trim it down to get a nice crisp square. So just go and trim that to four and a half inch square um, and then just repeat for all of your stitchery blocks or nine in all. So now that you've cut all your um, four and a half inch squares out of your fabric, um, you need to use the plan in the pattern to lay out your blocks and each block is different with the fabric in a different position. Um, so we've got three rows of three, so we're making a nine batch block. Um, one thing to be aware of if you've got directional fabrics and you want them all to go in the same way, just make sure that you lay them out um, in the way that you want to sew them. So this fabric has got little hearts in them, so I'm going to make sure that the hearts are always in the same um, direction and um, likewise the button stripe I'm going to have vertically and this all over print um, I'm going to make sure is always in the same um, direction so you're going to sew your blocks together uh, with a quarter inch seam we're going to do them in three rows of three
Now for pressing your seams on rows one and three, we're going to press them into the middle. Just try to press them rather than iron them. It just keeps the seams nice and crisp, but also stops the fabric from just slightly distorting. So those seams now are going into the middle. So I'm going to sew my next row exactly the same way. Matching raw edges right sides together. this one I'm going to press the seams to the outside and then the last row And again, this one, I'm going to press the seams into the middle. So now we're going to join the three rows together. So first and second row, right sides together. And you're going to nestle those seams together and they fit snug as a bug. If you want to stick a pin in just to hold it, go ahead. And then you're going to join these again with a quarter inch seam. Once you've got all the rows together, you can give the block a press. Just to keep those seams nice and crisp. And that is your first block. 
Now, if you're doing this quilt without the stitchery blocks, um, you just make them exactly the same way. Um, just accepting your button print would just be a square of fabric. Um, so that's the same block um, without the stitchery. Um, so you just need to make the other eight blocks now, following the plan in the pattern. Um, and once you've got all the eight blocks together, we'll um, join it together for the sashing. Now that you've completed the nine blocks, we need to join them together with the sashing. Um, so we need to cut 24 two and a half by 12 and a half inch sashing strips. We need 16 two and a half inch square corner stones and then 96 one and a half inch squares, which are going to make the star points. So I'm going to join the first row of blocks together. So you take one sashing strip and two of the one and a half inch, and you're going to mark them on the back diagonally. And this becomes your sewing line. So that's marked diagonally on. And then we're going to put those on the short end of your sashing strip so that the diagonal line starts in the middle of the short end and goes up and out to the side. We're going to sew on that line starting from the middle and up. And what we're going to do is we're going to trim that to a quarter of an inch and then just press press out so that your sashing strip now looks like this. You're then going to repeat for the other side again pop in your square so that the diagonal line is in the middle of the short edge and goes up and out to the side. Again, so on the line. Trim off your excess. And then just press so now that you've got the star points at the end just need to repeat that for the other end So you can now lie that, that's going to be the first sashing strip between your blocks. So we're going to make another one to go there and then we'll join them all together. first row joined together and um, you need to repeat this for the next two rows and um, you're going to make the two sashing strips and join the rows together. We then need to make sashing strips to join all the rows together and we need four of these and um, so we're going to repeat exactly what we did here. 
you're going to have a sashing strip at the top of each block and you're going to put your um use the one and a half inch strips to put your star points on each end and then you're going to join those together with a two and a half inch square to make um the long sashing piece to join your rows together you need four of those So your long um, sashing strips are made. When you come to press them, press them towards the centre square so that these points lie flat. Um, and when I join the sashing strips here onto the blocks, I press the, um, the seams towards the blocks so that when you come to join your strip to your sashing, all the seams in the cornerstone will all butt together quite nicely. So I always start with my cornerstones. So make sure the seams sit nicely and I just pin that little intersection both sides just to make sure that they sit straight and then again for the next one Just wriggle them between your fingers you can feel when the the seams um, are right next to each other so that it will sit flat and then I put a pin towards the end of the strip And then I'm ready to start sewing that strip onto the top of the row. And there you have your first sashing strip. So now just add the others onto um, your rows as you go um, to join all the um, nine blocks together into the quilt top. With the quilt centre now completed, we're going to add on the magic border. Um, so I've got the <coughs> four one and a quarter inch strips here and I've pressed them in half wrong sides together. Um, we're going to apply them to the sides of the quilt first 
And what you want to do is to sew these with um, less than a quarter inch seam because we're going to sew them on first before we put the border on. And if you have a quarter inch seam, there's a danger that those stitches will show once you put your border on. So um, I tend to use my zipper foot and I'm going to sew sort of like an eighth, almost an eighth of an inch um, in from the edge just to tack it into place. And what I do is I lengthen my stitch so it's um, a longer stitch, like a three, three and a half. Um, and this prevents it puckering and sort of gathering and then drawing the quilt up. So when you come to put the borders on, um, there'll be a, con a, a permanent pucker there. So by just um, lengthening your stitch, it's almost like a basting stitch. Um, if you want to, you can hand stitch them on, just hand tack them on um, to secure them in place. So I'm just going to sew um, the sides on first and then the top and bottom. magic border now on we're going to add our side borders um, if you've bought our kit um, you'll find that there's the borders are pre-cut for you and um, there's two shorter ones for the side um, borders and then there's longer ones for the top and bottom um, and as you add your borders on um, they are it's, this is directional fabric so just make sure you've got the orientation right so we're going to add them on on top of your magic border. So just take the sewing slowly because it's quite a lot of bulk there. Um, quarter inch C. And just remember to um, go back and shorten your stitch length after putting the magic border on. So we're just gonna um, add this on the side. Um, it's really important to um, give these borders a good press before you add the top and the bottom on. So press the seams um, outwards and um, give them a good press before you go and add the top and bottom on. Now that your quilt top is complete you'll need to layer it up with wadding and a backing uh, ready for quilting. Um, binding uh, you need to cut six strips, uh, six two and a half inch strips and join them together. Um, our binding instructions are all in the pattern um, and that's the last, um, last job to do to complete the quilt. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed uh, making the quilt. Um, I apologise for the intrusion of some of our lovely pets here. Um, once the video is running it's quite hard to um, stop what you're doing um, and then remake. Um, so well, it's quite nice to see them. So I hope you enjoyed uh, the sew along um, for spring and we'll see you again very soon.